Um, Robert and I would absolutely like to thank all of our spon uh, sponsors, all of our speakers, uh, for their contributions, the time to, to do testing with us to make sure that the system was going to work well, for providing all of the things that we asked for, um, and sharing the, the things that you're working on, your ideas, your concerns. Um, Robert and I have, have gone to various uh, AVMA conferences over the last uh, however many years, and it's really fun to, to tell each other about the things that we're working on. But, but um, you know, having input from other institutions, being able to have this kind of low impact sharing opportunity um, to that, that doesn't cost anything. You don't have to travel. You don't have to get away from your work. Um, I, I, I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. So um, thanks to everybody who was able to, to help to make this happen. Um, my intent would be to have the videos available um, through some, some resource um, within about a week or so. Um, and I'll work with the, with the presenters to ensure that they're the, to check whether they're the full version of their PowerPoints or PDFs um, can be made available alongside. Um, Rob, do you have comments, thoughts? I just wanted to thank everyone for attending and participating, and I'm, I'm really hoping this could open some doors and, and encourage collaboration. Uh, I, I love working with people and people at other institutions, and, and I think we have a lot of the, the same problems uh, to, to overcome and to solve. So I think if we can put our heads together and, and see how we can work together, uh, that would be great. And, and I know some institutions have uh, some projects and areas that they, they, they definitely have more expertise in, and I think it's time to work together with the, the way finances and budgets are, and uh, we can get further ahead that way. So I would definitely love to collaborate uh, with, with anyone on projects they have in mind. Feel free to contact me, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. I've got a, we created a survey um, that, so Rob and I had a, a quick discussion on, on how, how he felt about me causing your browsers to pop open a <laughs> survey. So I'm, I'm going to click the button. I'm going to be the big brother. Um, <laughs> There it is. So you should have all uh, popped into a Survey Monkey survey. Um, if you wouldn't mind filling this out, uh, that'll help us with some planning options uh, for the next one of these. It seems like uh, most people are, are fairly positive about how things went, um, but there's always room for improvement. Yeah, we definitely need your input on uh, what format worked well, what didn't work, uh, what you'd like to see next time, uh, what topics, and if you'd be willing to be a presenter and uh, share some of your experience and expertise uh, to benefit others. Okay. Um, if there are any other general questions or thoughts or ideas that you wanted to, you know, while we've still got 34-ish people in the room, um, <laughs> there's a, a chat window to just make your voice heard. And, and I think it's a good sign that everyone didn't immediately run away, you know, in the, the last session ended. So <laughs> people are sticking around. That's good. So yeah, let me know if uh, what you guys want to talk about, what you want to discuss. I, I know Chris and I were interested in structure. Uh, that tends to be something that's uh, a little hard to uh, ascertain from web pages a lot of times. What, what does your department look like? Who are your IT people, your ed tech people, who clinical IT people? Uh, how are you structured? I think that would be really interesting to, to compare briefly uh, who you have on board and what kind of experts. So we'll, we'll try and organize some method for collecting that information if you're willing to share. Uh, I know a number of, of uh, institutions have recently under, undergone some type of, of IT reorganization. Uh, we're looking at that here um, and, and seeing you know, how many people are involved and, and in what capacities uh, could make it easier to be able to get in touch with the right type of people um, when you're having you know, a, a need to collaborate with somebody on something. And I see Shannon's note at the bottom, uh, how many people are embracing cloud technology? Uh, we're starting to look at that really seriously now. I mean, both at a campus perspective for, for things like Office 365, uh, for email and, and uh, office applications. Uh, we're also looking at it from the college level. Uh, on, on a personal note, I, I do a lot with Amazon Cloud, uh, S3, and Glacier for, for backing up random terabytes of personal data that, that I've accumulated over 
a long time. Uh, but I'm really looking at that for the, the college as well. Uh, they have an um, integration with, with many different areas now for, for Glacier, uh, especially with Commvault. So there's a Commvault, a VMware integration, I mean, all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely starting to seriously explore that right now. We are as well here. Um, we've recently contracted with um, Box.com, um, and we're looking at Crash Plan and some other things. Uh, that the biggest issue is just dealing with the uh, um, contracts people and making sure that the university is accepting of, of the requirements for the contracts. Um, sorry, somebody had another question. Um, Kenichiro, um, uh, about being able to sign up to receive notifications, um, I will probably, if you respond to the survey, you know, just as an incentive, I, I would probably be willing to send a note out to everybody who responds to the survey um, that, the, that the recordings are available. Oh, and and that's a, a good tip about a, a, pre, a potential future presenter. So I definitely appreciate that. I will I will look into Max Smith uh, a little more detail and, and see if he's willing. And again, anyone who has ideas for the next, I, I would really Chris and I both would like to see this be a, a repeating conference. Uh, I'd rather not have it be a, a one and done type thing. So yeah, a quarter quarterly, once a semester, I mean, something like that, uh, I think could work out really well just to give us an opportunity to, to catch up. Shannon, and if you have a... Go ahead, Rob. I'll go ahead. <laughs> uh, put it in the survey. Yeah, if you could. If you could put that a potential uh, presenter in the survey, that'd be great. And then we'll have a central place to collect all that information. Okay, well, um, I think we're, we'll wrap things up here. Um, again, thank you all for being participants, uh, and thanks to the presenters if, for whoever is still here. Um, we look <laughs> forward to doing this again in the future. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. I uh, look forward to the next time. And don't forget to complete the survey. Yes, please. <laughs> Good. Everyone have a great weekend. Bye.